Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it is finally reading update time. Again, I have not done one of these in several months, so I'm just going to get started. I'm trying to be a little bit more organized now. I actually made notes so I would remember character names and everything, so go me. Um, so the first book I want to mention is Own the Wind by Kristen Ashley. This is the first book in her Chaos Motorcycle Club series. Kristen Ashley writes books the way some people change their socks. And she's got a lot of ongoing series going on. I have no idea how she keeps everything straight in her head. This book is the first book in the series, and it focuses on the leader of the club's daughter. Her name is Tabitha. She has been pining away since she was a teenager for another member of the club, um, this guy named Parker, but his street name is Shy, and... Um, to say that the idea of the daughter of the head of the club dating another biker in the club is frowned upon is putting it very, very lightly. And surprisingly, it works really well. It's like almost a 500 page book and nothing really, really exciting happens. It sounds weird, but somehow it works. It was a really good, um, enjoyable book. The second book I want to mention is the third book in the Chaos Motorcycle Club series, and it is called Ride Steady. A little bit of a side note, the reason that I'm not talking about the second book in the series, which is called Fire Inside, is because I hated that book, I hated the reading experience of that book, and I want to forget that I ever came into contact with that book. Moving on. At the beginning of the book, we are introduced to our female lead. Her name is Carissa. And she's sort of got the perfect life. She's in high school. She's a cheerleader. She's got a great home life. She's very happy. She's dating the quarterback. Um, and then our male lead is a, a man named Carson, who is sort of on the opposite end of the spectrum. He's got a terrible home life. Um, his mother passed away. His father abuses him. And he's just looking for a way to escape. And flash forward several years in the future and everything has sort of flipped upside down in that Carissa married her high school sweetheart but he dumps her while she's pregnant. Meanwhile Carson has joined the, the motorcycle club and his street name is now Joker. So he finally feels accepted in this family of bikers and um, he feels accepted and he's like this big shot mechanic and he builds cars and everything. Um, and one day um, Carissa breaks, on the, break, breaks down on the side of the road and he happens to drive by and, and helps her, rescues her. And while he absolutely instantaneously recognizes her, she doesn't recognize him, which really hurts him because he's secretly been in love with her since high school. And it sounds like it would be really over the top and melodramatic, but it totally isn't. It actually works really well. It's a beautiful story. The whole dynamic between these two characters is just great, and I love the fact that Carson has such a great relationship with Carissa's son. They're so adorable together. And it's pri probably my very favorite book by Kristen Ashley that I've ever read. Now, the other three books I want to mention are all by the same author, and this is a name that I'm going to warn you now you're going to be hearing me speak of a lot on my channel in the future because I have discovered that I am completely obsessed with this woman's writing. She is phenomenal, and I really wish that I had discovered her sooner. And her name is Susanna Kersley, and the very first book I read by her is called Season of Storms. Now, Susanna Kersley writes historical slash paranormal slash mystery slash romance. So Season of Storms is about an actress named Celia Sands. She's an actress who is given sort of the opportunity of a lifetime in playing the lead in this infamous play. Um, that will be performed in Italy. And it's infamous because there's this huge mystery surrounding the playwright and his wife who disappeared. And it just so happens that the, his wife, who was to be the lead actress in the play, and his muse, is also named Celia Sands. So Season of Storms deals with um, reincarnation and there's like a ghosty element to it and there's a really actually very well done mystery involved in this as well and it's just this book 
this book was fantastic. It was just so well done, and it was great. It was just the perfect introduction to this author's work, and I was just hooked. The next book I read by her gave me all the feels. It is The Rose Garden. Oh, my God. This book. Oh, it's so amazing. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so it is about a woman named Eva who, after her sister dies, um, she decides she's going to move back to a place that um, held her happiest memories from when she was a child growing up um, to this small village in Cornwall, England. This is where her and her family used to spend months at a time. She realizes that she's hearing voices and she is able to step through what is basically a rift in time and she steps back into the 18th century and she's in the same house but she's interacting with people who lived there in the 18th century and one of the people that lived there is this man named Daniel Butler and oh my goodness oh my goodness this this character she is able to write some of the sexiest most intense, passionate scenes with no actual sex going on. And I don't know how she does it, but it it's just fantastic. And the chemistry between Eva and Daniel is just ridiculous. This book is how you do historical time travel correctly. And in a well, intelligent, thought out, beautiful way, this is how you write it. This is how you write historical fiction with a time travel element and do it right. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject. And finally, the last book I want to mention is a book that I just finished um, a couple days ago, actually. And it is called The Winter Sea. Now, I'm going to be honest here. I actually had a hard time getting into this one. The first maybe 50 or 60 pages, I had a really hard time getting into it. So The Winter Sea is about a woman named Carrie who is an author. She writes historical fiction, much like Susanna Kersley herself. And um, she is very, very exhaustive in her research when she's writing a book. And so Carrie moves to Scotland to pretty much write a book uh, about the Jacobite Rebellion uh, when the French and Scottish soldiers attempted to get James Stewart back into the country to reinstate him as king. And instead of focusing on that, Carrie begins to tell the story through the eyes of this female character named Sophia, who Carrie very quickly realizes is actually a real person who is one of her ancestors. And as she gets deeper and deeper into the book and she starts meeting more people and going around the village and going through Slane's castle, um, she starts feeling like, you know, the things she's writing about are things that she actually experienced herself. So it deals with sort of, I, I think how they describe it is anc ancestral memories, where, again, with reincarnation, it's almost like two books in one, because you have the story of what went on in 1708 with Sophia and this um, military man named John Murray, who is a staunch Jacobite, and um, then you have the present day narrative, which takes place in modern day Scotland, where she's trying to um, figure out if these are actual memories coming back to her from her ancestors. But it worked really well. Once again, Susanna Kersley has the knack of knowing exactly how to make a story work. Even when on the surface, it seems like something that might be a little bit boring, she makes it freaking interesting. I just fell in love with this book and it was just amazing. Do you get the impression that I'm kind of fangirling over Susanna Kersley? Because I am. So there you go, guys. Um, let me know if you've read any of the books that I've talked about and uh, tell me what you think of them. And as always, I appreciate everybody who sits and watches my, my videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I have so much editing to do on this video, it's ridiculous. <laughs> So I better get started. So I will talk with you later, guys. Bye.